Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing really well. I was going to write a script for this because I didn't want to forget things. But sometimes a script doesn't give you that personal feeling that I want to share. You know, friends, we've watched many things taking place. We have a lot of things that we need to be concerned about. We have Fukushima. Oh, don't kid yourself. It's in your air. It's in your water. It's in your food. It's in the ground. The livestock eat the grasses. Rain waters the grasses. It's everywhere. And it's real. It certainly is. We have chemtrails. Talked about that before. We have uh, fracking. Destroying waterways. Talked about that before. We have GMOs being injected in our foods. We've talked about that before. And we could get into each of these issues right now. Issues, issues, issues. Never a solution. In my home, we're not going to worry about these things. We're going to put our faith where it needs to be. And we're going to remember what we've been promised. And anybody that wants to look it up, look it up. You'll find the promises in the scriptures. See, we need food to survive. And life is more important than anything. We should rejoice for each day that we have. We listen to a lot of people complain. And we've got trolls. We've got these shills. Whatever all these people are. We have people that are just disgruntled. They are unhappy and they're hell-bent for election. They're going to make you unhappy too. And they come in and they leave nasty comments and and they fault people and down people, and especially the poor. Today we hear more about the poor being bad guys, lazy bums, worthless, losers. We certainly do. You know, here, oh my gosh, a long time ago, right after I got into YouTube, Alex Jones and... Uh, Jesse Ventura were going around and, and they were doing their own investigation on the coffins and, and on FEMA camps. And everybody was saying, ah, that's a bunch of bull. Oh, that isn't real. What a bunch of crap. They were saying it wasn't. A lot of speculation. What are these camps for? What's the plan? Well, gosh, guys, there was a plan. And it's being implemented. It certainly is. It's being implemented in South Carolina. They are taking the homeless. And let's, let's talk about the homeless. Why are these people homeless? Why in America? Why in this country with all the vacant houses and all the opportunities why are these people homeless? I mean, we can just walk right out and get a job, right? Jobs are everywhere. Don't you see the job opening signs everywhere? Remember how they used to put them up in the window? Opportunity. Help wanted. Do you see those signs in the windows, guys? A lot of factories, a lot of businesses, especially the factories, went offshore. They were allowed to move their businesses offshore. And everybody that worked in those factories booted out. No more. No job. Sorry, Kay. Those people had bills. They had mortgages. They had families. A lot of families. A lot of families broke up because of it. In a lot of those families, the woman took the children 
she went on to remarry again or whatever, or raise the children by herself. And the man, well, he not only lost his job, he lost his car, his family, his home. And that pretty much made a lot of them homeless. Certainly did. Set of circumstances. A lot of people didn't handle it good. Many people didn't handle it good. And yeah, there's a drug problem in the United States. That worst worse and worst country in the world for it, I understand. You doctors know about that. You and your prescription pads. You certainly do. Big Pharma. Multi billion dollar company. Yeah. Whole lot of that going on too. But uh, FEMA camps, that's where they're putting the homeless in South Carolina. They have voted on initiative, and ironically, it was uh, during their, what was it? Let me find it here. During the Civil Rights Celebration. They had a Civil Rights Celebration and they wanted to clean up town. They didn't want people coming in and seeing the homeless. So a new plan was passed that made it illegal to be homeless in Columbia, South Carolina. That's right. If you're homeless, you will be arrested. And that's not the best part, getting arrested. In fact, I'm going to read to you how the initiative um, was spearheaded by Councilman Cameron Runyon, Democrat. Democrat. Here's how it's going to work. People, pay attention. Police officers will now be assigned to patrol the city center and keep homeless people out. They will also be instructed to strictly enforce the city's quality of life laws, including bans on loitering, public urination, and other violations. And just to ensure that no one slips through, the city will set up a hotline so local businesses and residents can report the presence of a homeless person to the police. In order to accommodate all the homeless people who will now be banned from downtown, the city will partner with a local charity to keep an emergency shelter on the outskirts of town open 24 hours a day. However, it's unlikely the shelter, which can handle 240 guests, guests, will be enough to handle the local homeless population, which numbers more than six times the available beds. Homeless people can stay at, a shel at the shelter, but they're not permitted to walk off the premises. In fact, Columbia will even post, now Columbia, South Carolina, my friends, will even post a police officer on the road leading to the shelter to ensure that homeless people do not walk towards downtown. If they want to leave, they need to set up an appointment and be shuttled by van. In other words, the 1,518 homeless people in Columbia area now have a choice. Get arrested downtown or be confined to a far away shelter that you can't readily leave. Jail or pseudo-jail. 
A Democrat spearheaded this plan. I find that very interesting myself. I'm going to put the links down below. It is uh, pathetic, my friends. Now, a lot of you are going to be saying, this ain't true. Well, let me see. U.S. Weekly. Anybody read that? Headline. FEMA camps. City to exile the homeless. It's not a conspiracy theory anymore. That's the headline. On uh, November 5th, 2013. U.S. Weekly. Oh, Alex Jones. November 5th, 2013. FEMA camps. City to exile the homeless. It's not a conspiracy theory anymore. I'm going to put all these links down below. There's some very interesting videos. South Carolina, it's illegal to be homeless. Jail or FEMA camp. Homeless are disappearing. Really creepy. Being homeless in Miami is soon to be a crime. FEMA camp roundup has begun. Friends, this is very real. What you need to do is you need to look around your home. You need to look at your job. How secure is it? Have you paid any attention to the economy of America? With the people that we have in the administration, we're in the toilet. We are in the toilet. How quickly could you become homeless? Why do you think they have these camps all over the place? And why all the coffins? Why the train tracks right behind? Go research the Holocaust. Go look at how they worked it, the mechanics of it, the way they rounded the people up. Look at the people riding on the trains being thrown into the camps. Am I trying to be a fear monger? Absolutely not. Am I being realistic? Absolutely am. This is serious. You know, and maybe you don't want to get involved in the problems of Fukushima or the problem with fracking. I don't see anybody fighting that anymore. Drink your water. You don't want to be involved in the chemtrails. I mean, after all, they're not real, right? Breathe. Go ahead. Common sense, my friends. Everybody said that Alex Jones was full of crap. Glenn Beck didn't know what he was talking about. They were fools. Con conspiracy theorists. Yeah. Yeah. Seems to me that's the only way we can get the truth. So uh, the Democrat decided to put this before the people there in Columbia, South Carolina. And they had a problem. And during the festival of honoring the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Movement. Did you hear that? Civil Rights Movement. 50th anniversary, they had to get all those homeless people out of sight. How many homeless people are in your city? How soon before you, you are one? You guys don't want to stand up for anything. You wouldn't even stand up with the truckers. You wouldn't stand up for anything if your life depended on it. You just don't want to be bothered. You want to pretend it doesn't happen. You're like one of those little monkeys sitting on the fence. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Till you get in somebody's comments. You sure have a lot to say then and it's not nice. This is real, my friends. Homeless people being thrown in camps. Reports that some homeless are disappearing, vanishing. Why? Where are they going? What's happening? 
When are we going to start getting involved? When are we going to unite? And as far as the GMOs in your food, somebody sent me a great big list, scared the life out of me. I was making a stew for my family, throwing in all these wonderful vegetables. Look at all those colors. Oh, this is great. But you know what? I remembered something. I've been promised I don't need to worry about that. I've been promised. So I spoke to the man. I certainly did. Or a woman. <laughs> and I said, would you bless this food? Would you bless it? It comes from you, your seeds. Will you bless it that my family is nourished and healthy? And you know what? It was blessed. So did I have to worry? No. See, we have a choice. We work on emotions, my friends. Fear or love. Fear or love. Where's the compassion? The empathy? When are we going to start caring? This is scary. It really is. Any one of us could be homeless any time. What are they going to feed you? What are they going to feed you? And remember, these people can't leave. It's against the law. Great big hugs. Go down to the show more. Click. Show more. It'll open up. Click on the links. Spend some valuable time becoming informed. And then we better find some solutions. Because it could be you and me next. Great big hugs and a whole bunch of love. FEMA camps for the homeless. I'll catch you guys later.